Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, from time to time in computer graphics, what we need to do is we need to use some kind of math to generate an image. Of course, that is a very broad statement. So there are many different ways to use math to generate an image. And today, we're just going to look at one particular method called a Voronoi diagram. Voronoi diagrams generally have a particular look, but there are ways to tweak it up so that it looks different. For example, this is one way a Voronoi diagram can look, but if I were to change up some parameters, well, now it looks like this. But what is a Voronoi diagram? What is the math that goes into generating this picture? Well, as it turns out, it's actually extremely simple. What you first need is a blank canvas. On that blank canvas, place some control points. Generally, these control points are randomly located within the image. These control points are normally also associated with a color that may be generated randomly. For every other pixel in the image, it simply takes on the color of the nearest control point. And that's it. That is actually how you generate a Voronoi diagram. The Voronoi diagrams you've seen in this episode is actually generated using code I've written. Of course, if you actually run my code, you'll realize that generation of a Voronoi diagram by just using the definition is extremely slow. The reason for this is of course, we have to use doubly nested for loops to actually go through pixel by pixel to decide which point is actually the closest to it. There are much more efficient algorithms out there to generate a Voronoi diagram, but because I'm only doing this for fun, I didn't go there. In fact, what I've done to speed up my program is to actually process many pixels at once in parallel using a technology called CUDA. Using CUDA means that I'm actually doing the computation for every pixel on my graphics card. So it's a little bit on the advanced side, but well, not as advanced as learning the efficient algorithm to generate this image. But we're going on a tangent. The key point is that we now know what a Voronoi diagram is. Now, I've done one additional thing just to, you know, make things look a little nicer. And that is my control points aren't actually randomly scattered throughout the image. Instead, they are all given a starting position on a grid. Then all the points are actually perturbed by a certain amount. In doing things this way, what you get is a more or less uniform Voronoi diagram. If you don't do this, you might have a lot of points clumping up together and your Voronoi diagram sort of looks strange. You can also change up the look of a Voronoi diagram by having more or less control points. For my implementation, you can also tweak how far off center all the control points are. Obviously, the greater the value, the weirder the shapes are going to be. I've also implemented borders for each of these areas and changing up the border width also could create some interesting effects. There are actually many interesting things you can do to a Voronoi diagram. I've seen implementations that change up the color depending on the distance from the control points, and that'll give you some very interesting shading effects. There is also no hard and fast rule on how you actually compute distance. While of course, we normally compute it by taking the Euclidean distance, that is, you know, Pythagoras theorem, there are other ways of doing it and doing things in that manner gives you a different look. So yeah, we've taken a much too close look at Voronoi diagrams for an episode of Friday Minis, but I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you had fun, I hope you gained some insights. But that's it, that's all there is for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.